Setting up your first domain controller with Windows 2008 R2 and Windows 2012 for IT Edge. Let's start with the Windows 2008 R2 server. Start and then type in DC Promo. When the wizard comes up, simply select Next. Choose Create a New Domain in a New Forest. If this uh, wasn't our first domain controller, we could choose Existing Forest, Add Domain to an Existing Domain. Fully Qualified Name. Forest Functional Level. Uh, basically ensures compatibility if you had um, mixed domain controllers on your network. So because we've only got 2008 R2 servers uh, and up, we can use Windows Server 2008 R2. It is a good idea to use your Active Directory domain controller as DNS, um, as your Active Directory objects are your DNS objects. This simply says it's unable to find a delegation for the DNS. Um, this is because this is our first server and uh, as you can see here it's not an issue. Locations, accept the defaults. A secure password if you ever need to restore um, Active Directory this is, this is what you'll need. Make sure it's uh, long and secure. Review settings. Uh, later on, if you want to export these settings, you can use them in PowerShell. Probably no real need at this point in time. And once we hit finish and restart the machine, we will have our Active Directory controller set up. Upon logging in, you'll notice that the domain is now IT Edge. And we'll now have access to all the domain tools. And we are done. Now to show you Windows Server 2012. This process is slightly different. First thing we'll need to do is install the Active Directory Domain Services role. So I choose Add Roles and Features. The server. And Active Directory Domain Services. Accept the defaults. And again, accept the defaults. Okay, so once we have that installed, we need to promote the server to a domain controller. Okay, so here we need to choose Add a New Forest. Username itedge.com.au. This field needs to be fully qualified. The functional level for this domain uh, is going to be 2012. However, if we had um, plans of putting Windows 2008 servers on the system, uh, as, as you know, domain controllers, we will need to drop this functional level. This is not the case, however. We want the DNS and, of course, a password for recovering our directory, directory should it 
have issues in the future. As this is our uh, first server, there is no DNS, and this is completely fine. Net bias name, of course, ITH. Default paths. Review. Okay, the prerequisites checks all pass successfully. Uh, you may want to take note of this one, although it's generally not an issue. Of course, the delegation, um, because we don't have an authority parent, this is our, our first domain controller, so it is our DNS server. And uh, everything's checked out. And then after a reboot, it will be our domain controller. Okay, so after logging in, we will have the Active Directory tools. Okay, so now we're logged in. If we choose Tools, we can see our Active Directory objects. And of course, in here. Now, you would all be aware that my preferred method is PowerShell. So back with the 2008 R2 server, you can see here that I've reset it back to its original state. I have a config or a scripts file on the desktop here I can use. And this is how we, what we will pass through PowerShell as an administrator to configure it as a domain controller or our first domain controller. The first command is time. It's important that your domain controls have good time. The next set of commands uh, simply create a file which we can use for our unattended further down. Copy that, paste into a PowerShell. We should be able to find our unattended file here. And here you can see we're going to install DNS. As it's the first domain controller, we need DNS. It's a new forest, the domain name, the NetBIOS name. So this is a domain, not a replica. And this is the functional level. Four would be 2008R2, three would be 2008, two would be 2003. Um, we're going to use four here because our service will be 2008R2. Again, as this is our first server, uh, global catalog equals yes. Database path can be the default location, log default location. Do wish to reboot, sysfile location, and a password for recovery. So I will choose okay and save that. We can then do our DC promo and call that unattended file. Sit back and relax. As you can see here, the password did not meet the complexity needed. You can simply open that file.
Make it more complex. And rerun. Okay, so now we log in. And we'll have our AD tools. There is one last command here, and that is uh, useful for making uh, containers. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, first we'll need to import the Active Directory module. And then run that command. Just update my documentation. And you'll see, okay, create servers. And we now have a service, OU. And that's where I can install future servers. Now, over to the Windows 2012. Okay, so Windows 2012. Launch PowerShell as administrator. Add the feature. Okay, then we install an Active Directory forest with a domain name, the functional level, so functional level 5 is Windows 2012. If we had Windows 2008 R2 servers, that would be uh, domain controls also, then that would be 4, and install DNS. Password, so if we ever need to recover Active Directory, we can. Do we want to uh, make this machine a domain controller? Yes, we do. Uh, this is okay because it's our first domain controller, so we have no DNS. And this just means that they have, by default, a high security. Okay, now reboot. Okay, so log in. Okay, so I'll just show you the last two lines. It's like before, it um, simply creates this container, or are you? And under Tools, you'll see we have the Active Directory stuff, and our Active Directory, and of course our servers. So there you go, we have just installed our first domain controller. On Windows 2008 R2, Windows 2012, uh, both using the GUI and in PowerShell. Thank you very much. This has been a presentation for ithedge.com.au.